Okay, something quick. When you guys port on um, polish this LS head, any LS head, check this out. You see the bump in here? Let me grab something. This one. You see this? See this bump in here? All this bump in here? Um, the main goal. If you want to go no extreme, but you want to do some good job, you're gonna have to take this down. Take this one down. And then you guys are gonna see a hole. You guys are gonna make a hole. Don't trip. Don't panic. That hole is normal. Everybody does that. That's one of the rockers. You see this hole goes all the way through and through a bump. That bump right there on the left. So all you have to do whenever you put the rock runs, is put uh, some uh, Loctite on it. So, so put some Loctite on the thread on the bolt so it won't leak. So that's one of the first tips. We're gonna remove this one right here. You're gonna smooth this uh, casting line in here. You see all the roughness? We're gonna get it smooth. You see this this part right here? Let me see what I can go through. This part right here, this one right here, we're gonna get them smooth. This line in here too, we're gonna erase it. We're gonna get it smooth. Uh, always the roof you can go you can take some meat on it some material on it on the on the roof on the floor don't do much on it it's clean out make it smooth don't take any material off because if you do it you're gonna make a hole and then it's gonna start passing water so that's on the intake side now let's see on the exhaust side I already have done some stuff so what we're gonna do here it's go we're gonna go here if you guys can see, I already did some job on it. So what we do, if you have the headers or exhaust you're gonna do, put a gasket in here and match the size. Put some dyeing on it, uh, writing on it, put a little line so you can go match the exhaust gasket. If not, it's opening and again, you can go on the roof, always go to the roof, on the floor, always get them smooth, sand it down and get them smooth. And then this one, uh, took some meat of this part right here on the floor which is of the roof. As you can see, I kind of already, um, it's so smooth, uh, nice and smooth. It's not rough anymore, like the intake size. So on the floor, never take that much. Just sand it down and make it smooth on the roof. You're good to go on the roof. Now the stuff I use, always, always use eye protection, face mask, that's the number one thing you're gonna have your dremel you're gonna have your grinder these are a uh, quarter inch i think they are and then these ones let me show you something you see the difference uh let me see this these ones right here well i'm not gonna have to move it but check the difference between these ones and these ones right here the aluminum birds or aluminum bits are different you see how the floats are open these are aluminum and the other ones are for metal See the difference right there? Look, check, check the difference on the end. So now the, here is the, the trick and the tip nobody's gonna give you. You can use the ones of metal into your uh, aluminum. All you have to do is so put some grease on it. Grab some grease, all purpose grease, whatever you have, I put them, put them in here, put them at the end. And that thing is gonna prevent it to getting clogged. You see this aluminum, this one, it got kind of clogged. That's how this one got clogged because it didn't use uh, any grease on it. So use grease on it, put them on the tip, and grind it down. You can take, uh, you can work on aluminum. You're good to go. So this is the things I have. I purchased this kit. Like uh, first, I purchased the aluminum kit, which is all these four. Uh, and I think it was eBay or Amazon for like well, like 30 bucks. And then these long, these long ones, and again on, on Amazon for another like uh, 30, 35 bucks. So I spent let's say 60 because I purchased this one last year. I purchased this one like a month ago. And then sanding rolls. I have a a close supplier around here. It's called Shamrock here in LA. So they sell this these rolls. Uh, of course you have to buy the little shank, little holder. So this is what it is. The roughest one I use is I think it's 36. I have 80. And then the last one, 120. So after going to 120. To get them nice and smooth as this one right here i have scotch bright i have all these little kit 
it was a little buggy from eBay. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. So you can do it yourself. Once you're done that, next step is just polish. Get like if you want a mirror finish, get some nothing like nothing like a mother's or any other polishing compound. So that's what it is. So that's how we work this one out. And then when we're done, we're, we're good to start working in here. Watch. The main goal on this one here, you're gonna work around the valves. You see all this meat in here? We're gonna we're gonna get rid of that oh, all this meat in here. We're gonna get closer to the valve. So all this meat in here, we're gonna get rid of it. And you see this floor how it's lifted like a ramp. This one is gonna go down, let's say, all the way right here. So this thing is gonna disappear. Same on the other side, on the exhaust side. All this meat is gonna be gone. It has to be close to the valve guide. And right here is nothing much to do. It's gonna sand it down, get it smooth. And then the only thing we're gonna remove is a little corner here. And we're gonna remove a little bit from here. Now let me show you the other head that is um that is almost done. So you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about. Check this out. You guys see that uh, the ball guide, you see all the meat is gone. You see the floor, the roof is already uh, is gone from the bottom too. Same on the south side, you see the ball guy, all the meat is gone. Not gone, but it's better than that one. You see the huge chunk in there. If you compare it to this one, it's kind of flush. From here too, point here is gone, this one is gone. If you compare it right there, let's see. Check this out. You see this one right here, and this one right here is gone. Now on the intake side, Check out the little bump I told you we're gonna remove. See the bump I told you, it's gone. The little bump is gone. I work the roof. Just open a little bit. The lines are uh, kind of, they're erased. We're good to go. On the floor, remember don't do much on the floor or you're gonna make a hole and the water is gonna leak. So this other bump is gone. I can't really focus all oh, right there. The bump is gone. The bump is gone again here. Let me show you what bump I'm talking about. I uh, can see it from here now. Yeah, that's the bump I showed you earlier. So that's why it is. That's how it has to look. And that's the, all the material we're gonna remove. Same from here. Now, when you're talking about the ball cut, the ball cut, I have a pre measured bulb in here. That's the measurement. This one, watch. See this one, that's the original, I haven't touched that one yet. You see it won't go through. It won't go through, now check this out. That's called bowl cut. You see? I open it, watch. It goes through. See? There you go. And this one stays there, watch. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So on this one there is done, check this out. It's, it's flush, it's, it's um, bland. It's nice and flush, nice and flush. This one too, nice and flush, nice and flush, nice and flush. On this one's here, if you pass your finger through here, Look all the meat we have in there, all that imperfection. So we have to make all that nice and flush. So it was a quick tip, tools that I needed and everything. Thanks for watching.
Okay, on the bump, on the bump that I was telling you, I'm already working on it. You see, it's almost gone. What I'm using is this one. It's for metal. All you have to do, like I said, put some grease on it, any type of grease. See, I'm already working on that side right there. See right there. Let me show you the other one. See the huge bump in there. The bump there. And this one right here is almost gone. That's the bump you have to remove. And then smooth out the, the casting lines. On the roof you can open it as one as you want. You can match the intake gasket. If not, it's getting smooth. Uh, it's open it a little bit. So those are the little tips when you polish and port and polish your uh, LS heads. Any LS head. Thanks for watching. Okay, now what I'm doing here on the roof. As you can see. As you can see, I'm um, straining it out the roof. This is how you see where I'm removing some meat out of it. It was a little ramp in here, so I'm trying to remove it, make it more smooth, the transition, so the air can flow better. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, watch. Check this one out. You see there's a little bump in here? I'm gonna try to get in that, that off, smoothing this side and the side, taking that little meat from here off. Lighting. Maybe too bright. Oh, there we go. So it's just that. Clean that up. I just open a little bit right here. Just clean the side. A little bump in here. Bump in here. So that's what I'm working in here. Right there. So that's how it's looking. So that's little tip and tricks. And then after that, we should be good to go. Ain't no love like a real love, but it goes so fast. All tied up like a captain. I want to you. Used to pay to my mom like sending a rainbow who's playing the cool. I was like this in ages and I'm not patient. So won't you please?